Um, in fact, that to some extent answers the next question, what, which was um, any improvement uh, uh, you have made in your organization to minimize the impact of environment. It does talk about what you have done that minimizes the effect of environment. Uh, anyone wants to take that up? Yeah, I could feel that uh, from our perspective, uh, it's really been uh, organic over the past five or 10 years as the cultures changed, uh, the dynamics and, and um, consumption have changed. We recognize that we, we've got to respond to these demands by investors, by, by shareholders, and, 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 uh, and ultimately we, we've got to build some infrastructure around uh, the, the environmental protection and environmental response. So we've, we've dedicated some resources to that effort internally. Uh, we're collaborating with others on how to better improve uh, our environmental performance and reduce our footprint. I, I think a lot of uh, what's been done across the industry is it's going to impact everybody. It's not just H and P, and it's not just neighbors, and it's not just whoever whoever you may work for. Uh, but some of the changes we've seen, technology, the closed loop systems. I think we're going to talk about fracking a little bit later. That that's actually had some positive impacts on the environment, reducing that footprint on the surface. So. Um, we're really focused on reducing our emissions. We're, we're reporting those out to, to investors. We're committed to being very transparent. And, and by being transparent, communicating where we're at today, we're confident we're going to continue to improve in those efforts. And I'll add on that too, and you know, and add. I think um, you know, over the last decade, um, methane emission rates of in key uh, U.S. basins have declined nearly seventy percent. This is an EPA EIA um, statistic. Thank you. I'm struggling on my words. And you know, just this week, the EPA put out their you know annual GHG report, and they you know they noted that. Um, in, you know, between 2018 and 2019, they saw a 1.7% decrease in emissions, and they're attributing that largely to falling emissions in the electric power sector. So that's natural gas development. Um, you know, the industry is stepping up and doing a lot of things to improve their emissions reduction. Um, back in 2017, the API um, issued a, a program, the Environmental Partnership. Um, you know, it has currently now 90 companies that are focused on taking steps to reduce their emissions. Um, you know, as part of this program um, or, you know, this partnership, there are six distinct programs that companies can do internally within their organizations to approve emissions. So, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of success there. Um, and then, uh, you know, also API just a few weeks ago released a climate action framework. Um, this is a big development for the industry and for API membership to put something out, um, you know, showing that we want to work with industry and government to, um, you know, to, to work together to solve, um, you know, what is a real challenge of, you know, we're going to need energy, the world needs, you know, the world's energy demand is growing. Um, and, but, but we do want to recognize that we need a lower carbon future. So, um, you know, I, I welcome anybody to go to API's website and look at our framework. It's there, you know, kind of laying out different actions that we as an industry support working with the government on. Very you both Larry and Micah have jumped in, so 